The quill. Wake up. Look. Uh, Drax. We talked about this, man. You gotta stop. Your illegitimate child was correct, Peter Quill. Hovat and Camaria will be restored. Uh, d d yeah. Okay. Um, we just need to have faith. <laughs> uh, Drax, you're kind of freaking me out, man. I had to share the good news, Peter. You have lost your family, your mother, the Kree woman. You understand the pain that comes from loss. Drax. But with faith, with the Matriarch's promise, our families can be restored. I, I, Drax, I don't... You have accepted her promise, have you not, Peter Quill? Uh, not exactly, but, but, but not because I don't want to, it's just, I have questions. I understand. The Matriarch's promise is overwhelming. Overwhelming is a word for it. It also took me time to see the miracle of her promise. Yes, yes, uh, time. I just need time. I will give you time, Peter Quill. However, I am less certain of the others. The wooden one may come around, but I suspect the assassin and the rodent will resist. Mm -hmm. This makes them a dangerous element to our cause. I must eliminate them. Wait! Why? They're our family, man. Just give them a chance. It's a lot to process. You truly believe they will accept her promise? I, I know it. Take Gamora. Her dad was Thanos. There's gonna be some stuff to work through before she can accept it. And, and Rocket. <laughs> Where to start? He's literally a walking science experiment. But Nikki, uh, the, the, the matriarch, is, is offering, it's, it's all new territory for him. And the wooden one? You said it yourself. He'll come around. I, I mean, it's Groot, man. He's our rock. Very well, Peter Quill. Good, uh, good, that's, that's, that's great. Um, I'll, I'll let the others know. No, I will fetch her and bring her to you. How? She's like a million light years away. We have already landed on our planet. Think well, Peter Quill. When I return, she will demand your answer. Wait! Drax! We can talk about this! Great. Oh, I'm here, Rocket! Oh, thank Flark. Peter? Rocket? Why is my door locked from the outside? Yeah. Drax may have kind of joined the church. What? Seriously? I know, it's it, it's super messed up, Drax. Drax is kind of messed up. He also may have landed us on Sacrosag to find the matriarch. But don't worry. I may have an idea. Which is? Cammy's been chewing through my wall. Maybe it's a way for me to get out. If I can just squeeze through and get to the cockpit. You can release the locks. Bingo! Okay, I'm out. Any sign of tracks? Not yet. Why? Why? Because
as I flarkin' told you guys, that thing would chew everything. But did you listen? Oh, no. Can't listen to Rocket. He just fixes everything. So wait. Are you happy Cammy chewed a hole through the wall or not? No. But also maybe. If it means we get out of this. Uh, so, guess who gets to fix the bulkheads when all this is done? Assuming we don't die first. I am Goof. Bet your bark, it's me. And if it weren't for me, the Milano would still be floating dead in space right now. You're welcome, by the way. Yeah, we're real grateful that you fixed the ship in time for Drax to hijack it. It's locked, Peter. It was worth a try. Can you unlock the doors in the cockpit? Uh, please tell me you know where the cockpit is. I know where the cockpit is. Done. Meet me in the rec room. Clark and waiting for. We gotta ditch this mud ball before Green and Crazy shows up with his new pal, the Kratakan Matriarch. Rocket, stop. We can't just abandon Drax. Is he even still Drax? I mean, he's been converted. I know. It's just we need to find him and pull him back from the dark side. You're talking about kidnapping Drax the Destroyer. Emphasis on Destroyer. And we've come too far, seen too much awful stuff to abandon one of our friends. Drax is still our friend. That ain't our friend no more. Don't make me pull rank on this, man. Are you pointing your frickin' guns at me? No, no, not yet. I just need you to understand how serious this is. We're not leaving. Well, Flark, Quill. It's about Kratak and time you showed some Nords. Fine. I'm in. Any other objections? Nope. I'm good. I'm good. Good. Then let's go find our friend. There are church forces on this planet. We should have an attack strategy. I am Groot. We've already seen their secret base. It's a massive Flarkin Faith ship. You don't need a dumb planet when you've got a ship like that. Ready to go out there and get Drax back? Ready? No. But the longer we wait, the further he'll drift away. So, how about now? Ready now? Peter, it's gonna take more than 50 ticks to think of a plan. I just want to make sure you're up for this. Don't matter, Quill. I'll try anyways. If everything goes right, we'll be back in no time. And if it goes wrong, well, somebody's got to extract your butt out of there.
I know you're ready. I am Groot. I am Groot. Uh, Groot says let's go get him. Okay, here we go. Not this place. You know where we are? In a flocking lagoon? How many times I gotta tell you people, I don't like water! Hey, I didn't land here, okay? Drax did. Ah, the stuff is gross! Uh, are you kidding me? Ah, wet fur is the worst! Fuck it! You alright? That's it! I hate water! I hate being wet! And I hate not getting paid! We're not here to get paid. We're here to save Drax. It's weird being back here. Guys, this is Lamentis, home of the priests of Pama. More religious nutjobs. Great! They aren't nuts. They're pacifist exiles. Pacifists. That's even worse. You saw them on nowhere? So how do you know this place? I came here after a job went bad. What kind of job? It involved my sister, and it's not relevant right now. If Drax thinks this is the Matriarch's planet, something's off. The village is this way. Uh, tell me we ain't crossing above an ocean. Only part of an ocean. Uh... Don't fall, you won't get wet. Quit worrying, Rocket. Anything happens, Gamora will jump in after you. I will? She will? Yes, because we're a team. And Gamora's the most sprightly. Ugh, I think I'd rather drown. We should sink on our plan for when we find Drax. Shoot first, plan later. We're not shooting Drax. But you were willing to shoot Rocket? Yeah, what does Scott Quill? Drax is the one in need right now, and I'm gonna do whatever it takes to help him. We all are. Found Drax. Where is she? Where is the Matriarch? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Put him down! Drax, buddy, just calm down! No, she called me here! To mend for the lost. Rocket, a little help here? Uh. Hi, guys. How did you... What? Oh, that. Lysa once taught me the art of striking one spot and many times. There's an Omphad who teaches me later. Don't worry, Green Meanie's fine. <sighs> oh, my man. What are we doing here, Mantis? I told him to come. On nowhere. I saw time inside his mind. The lies that bind. I mean, what's a girl to do? Whisper a course correct, obviously. Shh. It's okay. Stay with me. Quiet in the dark. Another one of your girlfriends, Quill? Oh, no. Not in this time. Come on! The creepy cave's this way! The what now? The creepy cave! Where the darkest of our future paths will meet. Dark is an unknown, not as in bad. I mean, it might be bad. But no way can it be worse than the futures I did see, because those were definitely bad. Very bad. You don't want to know how bad. Can someone please translate her? I am Groot. The point is... Or was, or... 
Which parts of the point have I made already? Uh, the creepy cave. Yes, that's right. Big strong heart carries so much sorrow inside. In all futures, he's the one who turns. And in some, we save him. Here! And here we are, where the Kotadi take root. So, just to be clear, there's a timeline where me and you... Peter, focus. Right. Uh, what's a Katadi? I am... Uh, plant people, like Groot, but, uh, lame. The Kotadi are a highly evolved, highly sacred race of pacifist beings who grace us with their meditative powers. They also guard the secrets of the ancient cave. Can they temporarily unguard it? Oh no, they take this duty quite seriously. Our only hope of entering is to appeal to their infinite wisdom. <gasps> What are we looking for in here? She doesn't know. Something that's gonna help Drax. We're all just taking the word of the space case. She's not a space... Mm, spooky! Spooky is right. Uh, more like deadly. Are we sure about this? Nope. Maybe Drax just needs to sleep it off. I mean, he seems fine. Ish. My telepathic control won't last, little fuzzy. Only Green Meanie's friends ever help him see through the Matriarch's lies. And it'll catch up! Double floor! Whew! I almost didn't sense that one in time. Everyone just remember we're here for Drax. Though, it would be easier if we had some idea of what we're looking for. Oh, for sure. It's always easier when you know things. Like, no, no. But you don't. Not yet. Whoa! This place is really unstable. Fuzzy Cave's gonna kill us all. Oh, no, not all of us. Not this time. More water? What's wrong with this lousy planet? Come on, Rocket. Blue water's not gonna hurt you. Death by drowning's actually quite common throughout Little Fuzzy's alternate future. I have heard so many of his panicked final gasps. Okay, let's not tell Little Fuzzy that. Too late. I heard. So wrong, Stir Fry? <laughs> Stir Fry? That's a good one. You've been smiling a lot more, Gamora. Hi, yeah! Giddy up! Crap, it was kind of close. That one sometimes gets Gamora. I doubt it. You're sure we're headed the right way, Mantis? I think so. Okay, well, it's too wide to jump here. We'll need to look around, find another way. Spotted a little mousy hole here. Let's take a look through here. Maybe there's another way to cross.
All right, Gamora, let's get up here. Why don't I just blast some of these rocks? Oh, no! I don't trust him not to kill us. What's your reason? I have seen so many futures where a little fuzzy dies in this cave. No, geniuses. This thing about these old ones is sturdy. Knock it loose and we got our bread. Problem solved. Still ignoring the bigger problem of not knowing what we're looking for. Don't focus on what. Focus on how much he means to you. Uh all the times Drax has done something for us. Name one time. Remember when he saved our butts in that mining ship? Scoff, he saved your butt. He dragged a lot of heavy things around. And thrown rocks. Seems to love throwing rocks. Throwing rocks is a proud Katafian custom. <laughs> Uh, this is a lot of trouble to go to for a freaking colleague. Tell us how you really feel. I just did. I mean, if push comes to shove, we can get another big guy. Admit it. Drax means a little more to you than that. Fine. Maybe a little more. But not a lot more. Not die in a cave level more. What do you mean it's not a good look? I'm being honest. I am good. I do not secretly love Drax. Ew, gross. Been there for us before. Like on Seknar. First time we got jumped by that tiger with the squid face. Who? Oh, Stumpy? And the second time we got jumped by Stumpy. Uh, Mantis? Should we be worried about this fog? around would have been useful just then. So those things living on this planet. Maybe they weren't native to Seknar? And this is where Hellbender first got them? Or maybe Hellbender's here, tracking us across the ends of the galaxy, because she wants us dead. Lady H wants us dead. You realize what that means? We're all gonna die? I think I see what he's doing. It means we're a team. When we piss someone off, we piss them off together. I'm gonna assume that sounded better in your head. Water, fog, and monsters. What's the fucking deal with this place? There has always been a great power here. The priests tell tales of those who were here before them, and what wonderful things they could do. I don't remember hearing anything about that. You weren't ready to listen last time you were here. I am Groot. Oh, no, Sir Groot. There's no such thing as the Kotati root. What kind of stories do the priests tell? Legends of lingering souls trapped in stone. Can't you feel their residual hum? I feel like we're being watched. <laughs> now 
Nebula wasn't your fault, Gamora. You know that, right? What's she talking about? What's she talking about? Nothing. Probably some other timeline. Right? If you say so. I should give this to Drax when he's himself again. Drax better appreciate how dangerous this dumb plan is. Oh, Green Mini loves you all so much. He does? In most timelines, anyway. There are a handful where he murders you all. Groot says we should check things out over here. What's the deal with all the stone faces down here? They're spooky, right? The Kotati mentioned the faces in the dark before, but I always thought it was metaphorical. What the flark are we supposed to find down here again? Fear faced fully from far within. There's something like that. It's the something I'm worried about. Who says we're being watched? Did he actually say that? Ooh, spooky. We ain't being watched. No one in the right mind would be in this cut flacking cave of flarkin' wonders. What's going on? Sir Groot feels the intrusive eyes watching us. Don't worry, my flora, I feel them too. What the floor? There's two of them! Two of what? Mantis, do these things have anything to do with what we're looking for? Inconclusive. But I'm thinking no. What do you think, Quill? You best friends? Yeah, maybe not. My blade barely scratches these things! Could really use tracks about now! Look out! Guy, but I am officially sick of this stupid cave. Who? Oh, bug lady? She couldn't guide her way out of a bathroom. Are you the rock face we're looking for? Not sure if I wanted to answer or not. Whatever gets us out of here.
Green Meanie's lost in an ocean of lies. We need to bring him ashore, but we also need to remain grounded in the positive. We're his lifeline. Positivity isn't exactly our strong suit. You always underestimated yourself, Gamora. You, uh, see something out there, Mantis? So many things, too many things. Shadows of a civilization that lived here once before. Forlorn faces that can see, like me, horrors yet to come. And other shadows, too. Ours, not ours. A figure that's watching us now. Or was watching us then? I see rocks and, uh, crystal things. A statue that looks like a face and more rocks. I like yours better. I see something else. I see friends willing to die for another friend. Yeah, well, I'm hoping it doesn't come to that. Me too, star guy. Me too. Rocket, think you can crawl in there? For what? So I can get eaten by whatever lives inside? The stone faces. Whatever we're looking for is beyond or beneath or behind one of the faces. What do you say, Rocket? I bet you can find us a way back there. Fine. Whatever. <coughs> uh, smells like rotten spike eggs in here. Okay. Setting the charge. Stand back! I don't think this is the one where he kills us. The crystals are kind of pretty. Eh, I've seen better formations. These look like regular silicates. Oh, there's nothing regular about the way they resonate, little fuzzy. Then they might actually be worth a few units. To the right vibe. tell you about this place, Mantis. Did they happen to mention the part where it's super dangerous and stupid to enter? Oh yes, it's very dangerous. Ancient, even. An ancient danger. Or what? Still is. Something. jump into the water if it made the creepy crawly feeling go away. Hey, group, buddy. Think you could lift this? <laughs> no, there ain't nothing he needs to know about me. Keep your bar full shot. Don't let your thoughts wander. It's not safe. Keep focused on Drax. Yes, caring for Cammy. Wait, who's Cammy? 